Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a look at your dominant energy, which is basically the energy that is influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future energies, any blockages and whatever is unforeseen that's coming towards you as your opportunity. Okay. Without further ado, let's jump right into your reading. Remember, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you. So if the roles are reversed, feel free and reverse the roles. Okay. Also remember that this can be for your sun, your moon rising or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those positions out as well. Okay. So you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll you have here improvement okay so the number 28 8 9 10 some kind of completion also whether you're completing a cycle with a person a situation job related career related family related whatever this is your life is about to improve starting this week okay so a lot of improvements in different areas of your life and also i see some kind of a completion a cycle that is ending okay but also with that ending comes a brand new beginning now let's go and take a look at your past present future and you have here the three of swords in your recent past the ace of swords in your present energies and in your near future the three of cups at the bottom of the deck you have here the four of pentacles could be capricorn virgo taurus libra gemini aquarius pisces cancer scorpio it doesn't have to be could be any of those signs however now i do see that you're a little bit kind of you know reserved okay you're reserved with your energies you're reserved with your money maybe right now you're saving a lot of money okay because you want to invest it in something for others of you guys, you are being reserved with your emotions. You're not really opening up to somebody or something here, okay? You're not really being all that kind of like yourself, okay? There's something here of reservation, okay? We're going to see what this is all about for you when we clarify. In your recent past, however, I do see the Three of Swords, so some kind of a painful cycle, okay? I do see that in the recent past, somebody here hurt you. There was some kind of energy of a heartbreak, and I do sense that, you know, while this heartbreak perhaps was holding you back, I feel like you're kind of, you know, finding improvement now because improvement is here. So there's some kind of healing energy that is coming in towards you. But I do see that in the past, there was some kind of an energy here of heartbreak, you know, painful cycle. For some, it could have been a third party situation. Now, in your present energies, currently speaking right here, right now, you have the Ace of Swords, okay? Some kind of truth will be revealed, okay? Something here is kind of saying that you need to start being honest with yourself about something, a situation, and or people around you. Now, I do sense that here with the Ace of Swords, like I said, this is all about you having that mental clarity to tell it like it is. You have all of the facts, figures, okay? You know everything about the situation, but even though you know everything, you're not really speaking up. Okay, I see that you're being very reserved with your energy. But right now, I do sense that you have this energy right now of kind of like that energy of your communication being able to get through to someone. Okay, if you use that energy, your power of communication, you're going to be able to be heard this time around. Okay, but again, this is all about you telling it like it is, opening up to something, someone here, and also being truthful with yourself excuse the noise being truthful with yourself and being truthful about something okay now in your future energies you have here the three of cups so i do see here that in the near future there is going to be a lot of celebration coming together okay as friends family members you know kind of the energy of you finally opening up so you will see improvement, okay? So there's this energy here where perhaps, yeah, in the past there was some kind of a heartbreak that was holding you back, but remember, improvement is here, okay? That cycle of pain is already ending, and I feel like in the near future, you're gonna open up to new people, you're gonna start networking, meeting different, you know, types of people from different places. Some of you guys will be going out, meeting new people as well, okay? But let's go and start clarifying why improvement is here for you. Why is improvement here for you? And you have here the Justice as well as the Ten of Cups and the Lovers could be Gemini Energy. Uh, I also see Libra Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, I see Brand New Love. There's a lot of love in this situation in your heart or somebody else's heart, okay? But somebody here 
feels the energy of love, falling in love, opening up their hearts to love. There's a lot of love in this person's heart. Okay. I also see that justice will be served in some kind of situation. If something here in the past, which we did see was unfair to you, if you think that a person here may have been, you know, not reciprocating equally, I do see that coming towards you is improvement, improvement, especially in love. Okay. There's some kind of a deep bond, deep love connection. Okay. I also see that there's going to be justice that will be served in your favor. But again, here with the 10 of cups, there's a beautiful union coming together as one, the 10 cups filled with love, masculine and feminine energies, you know, kind of balancing out each other, the children here playing and the house in the background. It's all about coming together as one. Okay. I do sense that for a very small group of you guys, there will be some kind of decision that will need to be made based on two connections. Okay. One connection here offers you stability, long-term gain, that sort of thing, a beautiful bond here that can be strengthened. But then this other one kind of brings you excitement. Okay. There's some kind of energy where you feel excitement, you feel aroused. Okay. So for some of you guys, there might be a third party situation, not for everybody. Okay. For the rest of you guys, it's just a deep bond here. And I feel like this deep bond is coming in with brand new love. Okay. Now let's go and see what this three of swords is in your recent past. What is this three of swords in your recent past? And you have here the four of wands, the five of swords, the fool, as well as the ace of wands. So in the recent past, I do see that you jumped in carelessly. You didn't really think about this. You know, you felt very passionate about this situation, about this person. And so you took a leap of faith. You jumped in and you got hurt. You ended up getting hurt. You ended up kind of, you know, feeling betrayed. I do sense that there was some kind of disagreement, some kind of tension that was built. And somebody here may have gotten away with something. But when they walked away, they did walk away feeling a sense of an empty victory. Okay, they're not feeling happy about this. Could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you. Take it as it resonates. But yes, there was a lot of happiness. There was some kind of commitment. You guys, you know, met each other's family members, friends, that sort of thing. But again, I do see that this ended up, you know, not working out for you because it ended up in some kind of sorrow. Now let's see why this Ace of Swords is here in your present energies. Why is this Ace of Swords here in your present energies? And you have here the Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, the Judgment, and at the bottom you have here the Moon. Okay, could be Pisces energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. But in your present energies, you feel a little bit foggy. You're not sure which way to go. You're not sure what lies ahead, okay? You're like, I'm not sure you know, if to open that door or not, because I don't know what's on the other side of that door. So even though you don't know what's on the other side of that door, this is telling you don't keep yourself stuck in a limbo, okay? Overthinking a situation because this is self-sabotage, okay? The universe is sending you the answers, but this is all about you confronting the truth of the matter, okay? Not being you know, in that energy where you're sweeping under the rug, what you don't want to see, what hurts you too much to really kind of, you know, bring you that sense of clarity. Because sometimes this is denial, okay? This is sitting in denial. And sitting in denial doesn't bring anything good. I see that your life is improving. It will improve. For another group of you, there's going to be a reconciliation, Okay, but I do sense that this reconciliation has to do with a level of you taking a step back. I don't see that you're taking much action towards a situation, towards this person, because you feel like you've already invested in this situation. Okay, for another group of you guys, if it, this is not a reconciliation, this has to do with you finally hearing that higher calling that you have to change. You have to change your circumstances. You have to liberate yourself. Okay. Nobody's going to come and rescue you. You have to do this for yourself. Okay. Now I do sense that what's going to be required of you is to speak your truth. Okay. To speak your truth, not only to be truthful to yourself and honest to yourself about the situation, but also with other people involved. And that's when you're going to see your ships coming in. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see more so about the three of cups, because I do see that for some, whoever is dealing with the third party, there might be some kind of hidden information. Okay. It doesn't have to be a third party for everybody. Remember it's a general reading. I'm reading for everybody here. So there's different scenarios. Now let's see what this uh, three of cups is in the near future for you. So you have here the knight of swords, the hierophant, as well as the three of pentacles at the bottom, you have here the seven of swords. Yeah. So for some in the near future, you're going to find out the truth 
about somebody lying, okay? Like I said, for some, it is a third-party situation, okay? For others, it's not. It's somebody here who has trust issues. And if you're the one who's dealing with trust issues because you still haven't healed something from the past, you have to start healing it, okay? I'm not saying finish the healing right here, right now. It's going to happen quickly. No, just at least start the process towards healing. Face the fact that, yes, you have been hurt. Yes, this is something that perhaps you're still not yet over, and it still might be affecting your vibration, okay? So for others, again, there's some kind of a sneaky behavior that you will catch up, you know, um, uh, catch on to, excuse me, catch on to. And I do sense that whoever this individual is, there's, again, like I said, a third party situation. And this third party situation has to do with a person here who is already committed. Okay. If this is not a third party situation, this has to do with in the near future, you're going to see improvements in your life. Okay. Now the improvement is going to be some kind of uh, energy here where you're going to get into a commitment to be offered commitment, or it could also be a job. Okay. Somebody here might be offering you some kind of a higher, higher pay. Okay. To make more money, you know, that sort of thing. And for others of you guys, this is going to come in very, very quickly. Okay. When it comes in very, very quickly, be prepared, be ready. It's going to require some kind of cooperation, working things out, working together as a team. Okay. It could also be if this is love related and if it's not a third party situation, be open to working things out with somebody here who wants commitment commitment. Somebody here might get triggered, however, because when communication comes in, it's going to be like an avalanche of emotion, whether it's you communicating something, you know, abruptly because your, your buttons were pushed. Okay. Somebody here might get triggered, but I do sense that overall it's going to end up well because there's going to be some kind of celebration. Okay. Now, if you want to learn more about who this other person is, we're going to dive deeper into this other person's subconscious thoughts about either deeper feelings for you, their next moves, actions, how this entire situation will all work out for you, and also any messages from Spirit. The link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop. And follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.